members of the Singapore Armed Forces. Members of the Singapore Armed Forces! Two solid leaders in the United Two solid leaders in the United We will always bear true faith and allegiance. We will always bear true faith and allegiance. To the President and the Republic of Singapore. To the President and the Republic of Singapore. We will always support and defend the Constitution. We will always support and defend the Constitution. We will preserve and protect. We will preserve and protect. We will honor and defend the Constitution. We will honor and defend the Constitution. With our lives. With our lives. Good morning, everybody! How's everybody doing today? Welcome to our Army Open House 2017! I'm Private Donovan Wan from the 3rd Battalion Singapore Infantry Regiment, and I'll be your MC for today. And from the cameras right there, I can already see so many excited and happy faces as the camera pans along the grandstand. Let's wave and scream! Well, I can assure you that all in here for a great time in our Army Open House 2017. To kickstart the event, marching in from your right is the Singapore Armed Forces Central Band and the Military Police Command Silent Precision Drill Squad. With roots dating back to the 1950s, the SCM Central Band was formed during the merger of the Tri Service Bands in 1994. The purpose is to serve as the premier band of the SAF. Staffed by professional military musicians, the SAF Central Band provides musical support for major state and SAF functions and ceremonies. As musical ambassadors of the SAF, the band also travels regularly to represent the nation in overseas military tattoos and multilateral defense events. Established in 1984, the Silent Precision Drill Squad, or SPDS, is a highly specialized platoon of military policemen performing rifle drills in unison. It requires precise coordination and timing without the use of verbal commands. The Precision Drill Squad can be seen during the monthly change of guard ceremony at the Istana, as well as numerous National Day parades and overseas performances alongside the SEF Central Band. Led by Chief Drum Major, Military Expert 2, Muhammad Hafiz Amran, and Director of Music, Military Expert 5, Khan IT Ken Steven. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the Singapore Armed Forces Central Band and Silent Precision Drill Squad.
Central Band and our very own SPBS, a warmest round of applause. And now, our famous Red Lions, the parachute team from the SCF Commandos Formation, are getting ready to jump off the Super Puma helicopter high up in the sky. We have a total of six Red Lions who will be arriving in a very short while. So in the meantime, let's thank the SCF Central Band and SPDS for their very impressive take on fusing music with our army. Now, it has been tradition through the years to cheer the Red Lions on as they make their landing. We are not sure if they're coming from the left or the right, but when you see them coming, okay, we do this cheer, here we go. When they land, all right, let's rehearse this one more time. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh. Yeah! Singapore Armed Forces Red Lions Parachute Display Team was officially inaugurated in 1996 by then Chief Commander Officer Lieutenant Colonel Harry Crew Young Hay. The establishment of Red Lions was only after three years. After years of national active involvement in parachute displays in 1970, the commandos formation realized that there is a need to bring forth and enhance the professional image, the special skill required by each member of the display team. The team of Red Lions who are about to land right in front of us are a group of experienced parachutists who have countless years of experiences and jumping records. And even one of our Red Lions making his appearance later Master Sergeant Tennis Lee Kok Leong Daniel with a jump record for, wait for it, 6,608 jumps. Yes, you're not even hearing this wrongly. He is an experienced and committed Red Lion. Even after his full time national service, he continued to contribute to the SEF and the Red Lions as an NS man by being an active member of the Red Lion Displacing. The Red Lions are closing up on us. So, ladies and gentlemen, for all of our Red Lions up there, let's make some noise! <laughs> now, the first Red Lion coming is Second Warrant Officer, Ko Bing Yang. We have a record of 2,100 jumps. He is the team leader of today's Red Lion display team. And here we go guys, let's get ready, let's go! Yes! Nice! And next up with our second red line begins and his marks to Sergeant Ennis Lee Kong Long Daniel. And here we go! Jump with record, and here we go. Ooh. Yes. Nice. Next up, our fourth red line making his landing. It is Master Sergeant Jeffrey H. Chin Hung with a record of 670 jumps. He is coming right now, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Red line biggest landing is no other than third one up is up. So I'll say good. And here we go. Ooh, yes. Nice and last but not least, our last red line making his landing is Major Arnold Lowe, the cameraman for the crew with 906 jumps. Let's wave to him as he passes by. He is approaching right now. Ladies and gentlemen, last and not least, here we go! Ooh, yes! Nice, another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for an amazing red lion. Wasn't that an awesome display, ladies and gentlemen? That was indeed an excellent coordination between our parachutists and the supporting crew behind this wonderful display. The Red Lions have never failed to impress us with their exciting parachute display and today is not an exception. 
They continue to produce the highest standard of parachuting since their years of establishment. Everyone, let me present to you our very own Red Lions! Once again, thank you for this outstanding display. Let us wave them goodbye as they make their exit off the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, our first act is a showcase of military capability and sheer strength of our Singapore Army. You might want to prepare your cameras right now if they're still in your bag because I can assure you that you wouldn't want to miss out on this upcoming display. Everyone, in a few moments time, we'll be having our AH-64D Apache helicopter appearing in front of you. You're right there on the screens. So in the meantime, everyone, to welcome our Apache Lombo, let's make some noise! There you go, ladies and gentlemen, our Apache Lombo! The AH-64D Apache Longbow is an anti-armor and ground attack support helicopter and has a formidable payload. Control, Longbow approaching target, request clearance. Longbow, control, clear, engage. Clear, engage, Longbow. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's give it up for our pilot, Captain Lim Tick, and his co-pilot, Captain Kingsley Boy. Let's give the pilots another round of applause, everyone. Wasn't that just a wonderful appearance by our Apache Lombo? Let's give them a goodbye wave, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put a head scan for armies, number two! Approaching the center stage right now, have your camera space on the tank as they go... <laughs> Did you see that? There we go! The strength of our leopard tank, ladies and gentlemen, is effortless. Can we give a round of applause for the tank crew's ability to handle such a beast? Just like the leopard in the animal kingdom, our very own leopard tank is fast, mighty, and strong. The leopard tank is equipped with a 120 meter L44 smoothboard gun. It is also operated with a stabilized control system. The fire control system enables our tanks to maintain accuracy even while on the move. So, ladies and gentlemen, for the tank commander, Third Sergeant Brian Yee, as well as the operator, Lance Corporal Patera, we all give them one more round of applause! Our Leopard Tanks has been utilized in various missions and exercises, such as Exercise Hazard Strength and Exercise Wallaby. These various overseas exercises allow our Leopard Tank to maximize its potential and enables our tank crew to practice in different terrain and ranges as compared to those in Singapore. If you look to your left, you'll see our armored engineer vehicle with their huge cars in front entering the center stage. Do not keep your cameras yet, ladies and gentlemen. Get ready, and here we go! Oh, Look at just a raw display of incredible strength. Our AEB first premiere in 2015. They are used for power mobility and survivability missions. Do you know the AEB can remove battlefield obstacles and breach anti-tank minefields? The armored engineer vehicle is designed to provide engineer support to mechanized combat forces. Let's give it up for our EV Commander, 2nd Sergeant Philip Tan! 
Operator, First Sergeant Keen Twa, and last but not least, Engineer, Third Sergeant Yuan Jin Yi! Let's give that warm wave as they move to the next side of the stage. Our armored and fighting vehicle, the Bionics, is coming into the picture right now. The Bionics were actually designed locally to meet our operational requirements. The Defense Science Technology Agency and Singapore Technologies Engineering enhance its overall capabilities. The Bionics is fitted with a two-man turret housing a combat proven 25mm cannon and a 7.62mm machine gun. In the interior of this vehicle gets a conventional layout. The driver and the power pack in front, the turret in the center, and troop compartment in the rear. It can accommodate a crew of three and up to seven troops. Check out that turret! That is our Bionics! Our Bionics has a stabilized two-man turret system that enables its ride through rough terrain to be stable and comfortable. Despite the heavy combat weight, can move up to a maximum speed of 70 kilometers per hour. Okay, let's give that another warm round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, all bionics. Everyone to your left, you can see our barracks entering the center stage. The barracks was introduced in November 2016, and this vehicle, dear friends, is an extremely versatile vehicle. At the same time, Vehicle, the turret, an infantry carrier vehicle, more politically known as our turret, storming onto the center stage. Right now, our soldiers are making their way closer to you. As they walk up the grandstand, you observe the equipment that they are wearing. The low bearing vest enhances maneuverability and protection for our soldiers as they scale through both conventional and urban environment. Do you know these soldiers? And the majority of our performances are actually full-time national servicemen. In spite of their youth, they are highly professional soldiers. As they walk past you, do give them a warm wave and do not forget to say hi to them. The Terex, which is making its maneuvers right now, is highly integrated with mobility, protection, firepower and other key subsystems. The Terex is a highly capable infantry fighting vehicle which has been used in various missions and exercises. With the full integrated network system of our Terex, it allows our infantry soldiers to carry the entire SAF capabilities around when they go into battle. Our high mobility artillery rocket systems, HIMARS for short, will be joining the ranks for this multitude display of power. Our light strike vehicle, Mark II, is a light fast attack vehicle. They can be fitted with either an anti-tank guided missile or an automatic grenade launcher. It can seat up to six soldiers and is highly maneuverable and can reach up to speeds of up to 110 kilometers an hour. And look at them go! Yes! That was an awesome figure of eight turn. Our high bars is a highly mobile and guided rocket launcher. To ensure pinpoint accuracy, our high burst armament are fully GPS guided and is able to engage targets of up to 70 kilometers away. The SCF witnessed the commissioning of the first High Mars battery on 5th September 2011. Our High Mars is in a highly efficient rocket system. It enables the SCF to respond decisively to new challenges and changing circumstances in its operational environment. Round of applause for all of these vehicles and their amazing crew for showing us their capabilities. It has been a real feast of might and mobility. In today's complex security environment, it is important that as Singaporeans remain vigilant and look out for security threats, we stay united and strong and must know how to respond together during trying times. Our next act showcases our Army's ability to respond and protect our home in the event of a crisis. The 
terrorist attack today is the first high-profile one since 2009. At least six explosions were heard. to the current situation with the Singapore Police Force. If you look to your left, you'll see our heavily armored protected response vehicle. It can hold up to 12 crew members and travel at speeds of up to 90 kilometers per hour. Our medical response force is also getting into action, losing no time to come in any danger. Our MRF are highly trained in various scenarios to provide medical assistance. They even have a combat test to run with a full mob suit to combat against chemical, biological, radiological, and explosive attacks. And you can see our army deployment force cordoning off the building to isolate the location from any external interventions. They are an ever-ready unit that provides the army with specialized capabilities for a full spectrum of operations. At the same time, our special forces is being deployed. These highly trained soldiers specialize in operating independently and capable of air, land, and sea insertions. As you look up, you'll see a team of special forces inserting their people from the sky. Our special forces need no introduction. They are the sharpest edge of the SCF and they can get the job done during critical situations under extreme conditions. Their training is tough to ensure that they are able to carry out their mission safely and effectively and only the best and the most committed make the cut. Our special forces all possess key attributes such as physical prowess, mental resilience and adaptability. These are highly critical for soldiers in the special force, as they are the ones we depend on in these extreme circumstances. As they come streamlining through the air, riding on the wind, swift as eagles, make sure that you guys have your phones and cameras ready. As they're closing in towards us, have your cameras ready, because they are one and only special forces. And now we have our first special force approaching the grandstand. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The first special force government has landed. Let's give it a round of applause. Second Special Forces is approaching right behind it. And the second red, the second Special Forces has successfully landed. Let's give a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And now, last but not least, we have our third Special Forces approaching. And he has landed. There we go. Let's get up for our team of special forces. They are now carefully making their way towards the objective. They are well trained and ready to respond to this situation anytime. Keep your eyes fixed on them and give them our fullest support. Concurrently, at another location in Singapore, another bomb is still ticking. Our Explosive Ordnance Disposal Team is being activated to support the situation. Accompanied with our Explosive Ordnance Disposal Vehicle is our EOE EOD dog to help us sniff out the bomb. And right now our dog confirms the location of the bomb. Well done! 
If I draw your attention back to the center screen, you will see a team from the Special Force advancing towards their objective via the sea. This form of insertion requires stealth and precision in their advancement. While that is happening, our EOD robot on the other side is already at work to disable, and if that is not possible, detonate the bomb. Now, our EOD robot is getting to work. Watch close. Cover your ears. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be loud. And there we go! Well done to our EOD robot! Up next, our EOD operator, Don in the 28 kilograms bomb suit, is moving closer to confirm the successful neutralization of the device. There's the thumbs up! Round of applause for the EOD team! What a flawless job! One down, one to go! Right now, our special forces are stealthily advancing towards the objective. Our special forces will be breaching dynamically into the building from multiple points to achieve an element of shock and surprise. They are highly trained, extremely versatile, and able to adapt to different situations. To achieve maximum effect, it is important that the assault is well coordinated by all teams. Our special forces have been through grueling training that has pushed them both mentally and physically to be able to perform at such a level. They are a highly disciplined and bonded group of men. And they have been always ready and have successfully answered the nation's call in the past. They are laying their charges. And right now, they are making final adjustments to the charges, ready to respond at any time. Get ready. Eyes fixed. Cover your ears. Success! Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. They have retrieved the civilian, and now our special forces make their exit. A very good job. Well done. There was an exemplary display of a successful mission. From the insertion till the extraction process, every action they took was perfect. This level of excellence can only be achieved with their arduous training and their high quality forces. Well done. This clearly shows that our army is well integrated to complement one another with their expertise to ensure a swift and decisive victory. Together, we can defeat our fears, but we, as one people, one Singapore, must be vigilant and persist in our efforts to make our island a place for peace. As we celebrate 50 years of national service, we look back on the past generations and we see how far we have come. Okay, I'm Ibrahim de Bulak, age 73. I joined the army on the 1st of April 1983 as a volunteer. 
when we first started the SAR in the early 60s, we barely have the basic necessity requirement to put up a strong defense. I used people call it in those days the heavy cricket rifle, which is very heavy as I told you, it's almost four pounds. For pocket wood, we were using jungle food. Our weather, our climate is not suitable. Your food got heated up very easily. We get meat and it's quite sizable, but that meat, if you throw on the wall, the wall can get cracked. You know how tough it is. You know, it was very poorly prepared. My name is Nazri bin Ibrahim. I was enlisted for National Service in December 1985 and ROD in June 1988. I have seen the discipline and character of my father, which I admired a lot. Although he's a very firm and stern man at home, he's also a loving father. And during my time, we are better equipped with better quality uh, equipment, and attire, uniform groups and so on. Definitely, the rifle that we use is good and not too heavy for us. I remember one funny story was before we come, we had to finish our green beans. So what we did was we took all the green beans and we went to the toilet and threw it there. The toilet was choked. So when our chip came and inspected the toilet, we didn't have to go to the top. We clean up the toilet, then we are allowed to come. Hi, my name is Muhammad Nur Mustafa Bin Nazri. I'm currently pursuing my diploma in sports coaching in Republic Polytechnic. I wanted to have a feel of my NS life and also it will actually make me a better person in terms of my character, my leadership skills, and also my confidence. All these skills and etc. will actually help me in the future. The most prominent memory that I had was actually firing the sub in It felt like I was actually beating my girlfriend. I heard from my friends and family that the NS is tough, but then there isn't any tough times, there are only tough defense. It's all about your mindset. Our defense is a priority to every citizen, every body man in Singapore. We cannot depend on other people. So as a Singaporean, we must answer to the call of national service. One important thing is you must have a positive mindset towards training and to treat training seriously. I feel national service is my way of contributing to the As we come to close the show, we would like to take the opportunity to recognize all servicemen of the Singapore Armed Forces. Our servicemen, we thank you for your commitment towards the defense of Singapore and for your contributions towards the SEF. May we now invite all servicemen, all of the servicemen of the SEF on the grandstand to rise so that we can acknowledge them. At this moment, to all servicemen, we salute you! Ladies and gentlemen, we have now come to the end of the show. We appreciate your attendance here and we hope that you have been thrilled by the exciting performances. May I invite all of the lovely guests to come down to the stage to take photos with the vehicles and performance. Once again, my name is Private Donovan Wan from the 3rd Battalion, Singapore Infantry Regiment. Thank you and have a great day ahead at our Army Open House 2017.